hello community i hope you are doing good in this discussion we will see how to extend a specific view using the position as an inside and in case you missed previous discussion about how to extend a view with position as a before please check link is given in the description and in case you want to learn more about odoo with different topics you can visit this playlist Inside this playlist, you can see Odoo development and here you can see different topics also available here like this. And apart from this, you can see Python related tips and editor related tips also available. And if you need any support related Odoo, you can go to in the about page and here you can see this email address, right? You can just send your query to this email ID. And you can also support this channel using two ways like buy me coffee or PayPal or using this join button. So let's back to our main topic like how we can use position as an inside option. Alright, so let's say here in the list view or in the in this view, like we have this notepad and this pages. Or let's say we have a group, right? To define as a as a deviation tab let's say this one so this is a form view like let's say this is a header or let's say the seat tag in the notebook or in the page or let's say in the group you want to add some content that time we can use inside as an attribute same as the before and the after like let's say before this tag you want to add some content so that time we can use position as a before right after this group you want to add some content that time we can use position as a after but let's say if you want to add inside this group some content so that time we can use inside as an option so how we can use that option you can see in this discussion so I already created this module especially for the inheritance purpose inside this views you can see this file xml file already created a different test cases and this is our last test case it's a position as a before and this discussion is only for the position as the after right so let me comment this one and let's create a new rec, uh, like let's say the new position as a inside so record id then after the model field name equal to name model inherit underscore id arch type equal to xml IR UI view and here we can add like student form inherit form inherit and our module name model name is the school dot student right and especially here we can use ref as an attribute and here like we need to you we need to extend this module right so for that we need this id so first we need to pass here and before this id we need to use dot and here we have to mention the module name which module name like this view is in which module this view is available so simply this is inside this school underscore student module right so we have to first define the module name dot and the xml id i already explained this line in the first session about the view inheritance if you don't know completely or you want to refer this one please check the whole playlist now like let's say so this is our basic architecture of the extension of the view is complete so now we are good to go with to use the position as inside all right so let's say the first thing is 
like let's say I want to add one more notebook page using the inside attribute all right so for that like I will use xpath expr and the position as inside so my expression should be like notebook if you see here this is a notebook and I'm using like position as inside so inside the position I will use a new patch shine of something like this all right and I will use here like let's say inside option so basically we use here the x path and why we use x path because we have to use the expression right if you see here this is a main parent tag and in this tag this is a notebook so here I'm using a different expressions here and if you don't know about the different expressions like this you can form my suggestion is you first need to check my xpath related tutorial over there I already explained like how you can what is this schema like this this is a parent one this is the child one and this is the another child like tag of this C tag this is a header tag in, in the header tag we have like this different tags also available so this is a parent child tag how you can use inside this expression so I'm only for in this discussion we are just focus about this one only not with the expression if you want to learn more about with the expression you can my suggestion is first check that previous session about the expression this x path all right so you can see here like this is our expression in the notebook i want to add one more page so that time we can use the position as the inside so inside it will add one more page this one so let me upgrade the module but before that one let me show you here I already configured my Odoo with the PyCharm configuration like this and whenever I will restart the service it will automatically upgrade the module and if you don't know how to configure like this you can just check editor level playlist over there I already explained everything all right so let me upgrade the module and refresh the page you can see right now we have three pages right now this is our fourth one you can see inside option now the position if you use position as a inside that time like odoo automatically add the content in the last position all right so let's say previously we had we have like these three pages right one two and the three like when you use the inside that time it will always add the content in the last position here so that's the main use of the inside here right and might be you have a question like let's say I want to update before this page or let's say after this page then how can I do it so I already explained in a previous discussion so that time you can use before or the after position so, so you can use like this but here we can use inside like this so let me show you one more example like let's say you can see here in this notebook in the page in the page you can see like we have this group right this is a main group and this is a subgroup of this main group so like let's say I want to add one more group here inside this group then how can I do so like for that one we can use like this xpath expr then after page you can see the this is the first page right after the notebook this is the first page so I used here the first index then after 
like I'm using the group. So here you can see we have uh, in this page we have two groups, right? So here we have to first mention in which group we have to add another group. So this is a first position here. So I'm using here the first position and I will use here the position as inside. Like let's I will use one more group here let me give you here the string like inside h1 inside the group inside the first group let me upgrade the module and try to refresh the page so you can see this is the first group and this is the second group we actually added using the inheritance concept right so this is a group name and inside this group we display this content not only content but you can also add fields also like write underscore that UID let me upgrade the module one more time and trying to refresh the patch you can see it will automatically add these two fields also so now you understood right how to use position as an inside option so inside option is like whenever you want to add some content in a specific tag here like let's say inside the notebook or inside the header inside the page inside the group also that time you can use the position as a inside let me show you one more thing in the header part right so in a header part i want to also add one more button xpath expr like header position inside button name equal to string like let's say inside button and like let's say the type is object let me copy our existing method like this one in the name now like upgrade the module and refresh the page all right so you can see here inside the button this button automatically updates add here in the header part now you can see one common thing here in this all this x path here here and the here like let's say first about the notebook we use the inside whenever you use the inside it means in the notebook this content will display last so you can see here after this three page it will display the last one this one the second part is the page like in the group the first group we add a new group right here you can see this is the first one so after sorry this one so you can see here the x part the page and the group so after this group inside this group sorry inside this group we add this group so what happened here is in the front end side it will display here in the last last means here and the third one is you can see this one the third one is we use here the header part and we use the position as the inside and we try to add this button so you can see in the front end side it won't be display here or anywhere but it display the last one the last position i mean so this is the main purpose of to use position equal to inside all right i hope you clear about this position equal to inside and if you have any doubt related this position please comment below and see you in next session